Party with Stephen Michael Quesada featuring The Jane Douglas Show. Stephen's guest tonight is comedian Nikki Manchin, Ray Serrano, and music from Poema. And now, the man with all the questions and all the answers, Stephen Michael Quesada. Welcome to the After After Party. I'm Stephen Michael Casada, and you're here in Homiewood. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. It's nice. You know, we're going to have a great show for you this evening. I have something to show you, though. Check this out, right? Check this out. You see that? Huh? Huh? You see that? See that? Huh? Cover of Albuquerque the Magazine. My ugly old face is on it, man. I'll tell you that right now. And this is a trip, right? Let me tell you guys what happened, right? I'm going to put this away. Um, it's embarrassing because the other day I went to go get toilet paper, right? Because uh, I have all daughters and we go through a whole lot of toilet paper, right? So I'm at the store and I buy like the family one, you know, the one that you have to, like, like that, right? So I'm going, I'm going to, to the checkout stand and <laughs> I'm standing there and I'm looking like that and I look at the, at the magazine rack and I went, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And then I looked up at this lady and she's looking at the magazine. She goes, is that, yeah. no, that ain't me. No, I know nothing about fashion or style. <laughs> so, little plug for Albuquerque the magazine. Please go out and get a copy today. <laughs> hey, man, did you guys know? Did you guys find here? here uh, George Lopez is getting a divorce. No. Divorce. He's leaving his wife after I don't know how many years. Tons of years, right? And you know, I feel bad for him. I feel bad. I don't know. I think he's with a hooker or something. I don't know. I don't know for sure. So uh, I'm going to call, uh, you know, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly he was with a hooker. But that don't matter because now, right, his wife wants her kidney back. <laughs> yeah, right? You know, he's paying kidney support right now. That's what he's A <laughs> million dollars a month, man. You know? and, and she's Latina, bro. She's going to take it back and let it dry up like a moco. Send it to him. Say, there you go. There you go, right? And I feel sorry for George's nice girlfriend, right? Because he's going to have to find a fine girl that's going to be able to live with a scar right, about right there. <laughs> I have a great show for you this evening. I have Nikki Manji, one of the funniest girls on the planet. <laughs> I have the fabulous Greg Serrano. And my musical guest this evening, very, very talented two sisters. Their name is Poema. All right? We'll be right back. Indie Film Rental. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Lesman Pro Audio. 5413 Lomas Northeast. Two blocks east of San Mateo. YDI's digital outreach programs offer students a safe place to learn skills using today's industry standard tools. Through a series of lectures and hand-on trainings, these programs give kids a head start for a career in the filmmaking industry. You have 
a program that really does set you up for the real world. This has given them a place where they feel like they belong. To find out more about these and other YDI programs, please visit www.ydinm.org. Do you want to keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season? And the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. All right, welcome back to the After After Party. I promise you a great show. Please help me welcome the very funny Nikki Manjay! Woo! <laughs> I decided I needed to have some a little flashier, so I want a black girl's name. So that's what I'm having, because black girls have the coolest names. You guys ready for it? Yeah. Instead of Nikki Manjin, how about Nikita Manjin and Juice? How's that? Yeah? What do you think? Because black girls, they have the coolest names ever. They name themselves the coolest names. Ooh, me and my girl, Chardonnay. We gonna go hang out with Tanger Ray, a light-skinned girl, creme brulee. And hook up with our Chicana girl, Ogilvy. <laughs> Black girls' names. I have a white girl's name. You can tell because it ends in E. All white girls' names end in E. Nikki, Shelby, Lindsay, Ashley, Brittany. They're all ending in E, right? Bad names. And the Chicana ladies are laughing in the audience, but you guys, you guys go way overboard with the names, let me tell you. I'm standing in the grocery store the other day, and I hear this Chicana lady yelling at her kids. She's like, Angelina, Angelina Maria! I thought, oh, that's probably so cute. I turn around, one little girl. <laughs> I'm right here, mommy. He said, don't run off. Somebody will take you, and then we'll be crying and crying and crying. <laughs> and we won't find you. Your name can't fit on the milk carton, Nika. Don't run off. Don't run off. It's a very diverse culture here in New Mexico, very diverse. And you can tell that by the way teenagers talk on. Teenagers, anyone have teenagers? Teenage daughters, specifically? Yes, I have a teenage daughter. Here's how I know she's a white girl. Teenage daughter on the cell phone. I was all whatever. He was all fine, and I'm all whatever. He's all whatever, I'm all fine. He's all fine, I'm all whatever. He's all. Fine. We had a great talk. No words. How can you have a conversation with no words? None. Okay? But it goes across all cultural lines. Black teenage girl on the telephone. I said, uh-huh. He said, uh-uh. I said, oh, I know you, Shane. He said, uh. I said, mm. He said, uh. I said, ooh. He said, mm-hmm. I said, mm -hmm. I said Again, across cultural barriers, Chicana teenage girl on the telephone. He forget it. I go, ooh, I lie. He said, he I know. I said, ooh, forget it. He said, he I know. I said, ooh, he said, he I say, ooh. Laugh now, cry later. I'm Ricky Mountain. Thank you guys.
Les Mins Indie Film Rentals. Les Mins, we rent lighting, jibs, dollies, tripods, video camera, and DSLR kits. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Les Mins, feature film, television, commercial production. Les Mins offers a green screen room with a graffiti wall and various other backdrops. 5413 Lomas Northeast. Two blocks east of San Mateo. Yeah. Welcome back. We're having fun here at the Wool Warehouse here in the queue here in Homie Wood. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Please help me welcome the very, very talented, a good friend of mine, Mr. Greg Serrano. Come on now. What? What? <laughs> Who is that sexy dude? I don't know, man. Man, dude, how do I get that? How'd you? How did I get that? Hook I don't me know. Up, dude. Hook me up. I'm gonna have to hook you up, man. I know a guy that knows a guy. Listen, congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank I you. I want to say this is amazing. Look at this sexy audience. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bands. Love you guys. You guys freaking rock, man. They do. They do. Amazing. Did you love his hair? Everything, man. It's all just yeah. killer, man. This is all killer, man. Hey, what's up, see. man? How you doing? Man, living life, you know what I mean? I mean, uh -huh. I'm just glad to be here. I can't believe it. Look at his initials and everything. How you, it's like, that got to be special. I wanted to tattoo initials. that on, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> you can't get your own name? I got a new tattoo oh, right hey, here. I'm working wow, on it. It's kind of crazy. That, man. It's like is. a battle axe with words. And really? That's painful. Madness. Up here was killer. Down here was killer. <laughs> it's got words everywhere. It's I don't put anything near my nipple. Pretty crazy. That's the fun part. Was it? The nipple's the fun part. Oh, dude. okay. That's, All right. You got to go for it just one time. <laughs> just no ink. Just don't, no ink. Just. So, hey, you know, I mean, I know, I know that you're, you're famous for a bunch of different things, right? Uh, um, uh, legally Blonde? Right? Legally Blonde. Yeah? Did you laugh at that? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a couple years, a couple years That's now. That's all right. Yeah. You still look the same, though. Um, you, you do, man. You look good, man. Don't you look good? It looks good, right? Good. <laughs> And, you. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, yeah, there's up, scou well, there's up scoundrels over uh -huh. the summer. You guys watch that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, you didn't. <laughs> um, we, we did the summer run for that, and mm -hmm. I finished up on Documented with Peter Stormare. And, yeah, you uh, did that, that with amazing. my sister, right? Yeah. I did that with your sister. That's yeah. right. That's sister right. was in that yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's an amazing movie. So it's getting great reviews, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Really dark, really gritty, really, you know, raw, real. Mm -hmm. About a team of, you know, uh, of uh, uh, document, documentary filmmakers going out to Mexico to, uh, to document uh, an illegal border crossing. Oh, okay. And then everyone gets captured by this uh, right-wing group and torture and blood and... It's crazy, huh? Crazy. You know, when they get here, they take away their driver's license. <laughs> They snagged it, bro. Uh, so now so everybody's Jose so Martinez now. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, so it's man. been doing well on the film festivals, right? It's doing well? It just started, man. The okay. first run was, was Austin. Mm -hmm. um, got some really good reviews there. So hopefully, you know, it gets into Sundance and Toronto and New York and all that and does really well and gets released and, uh, you know, go from there. But. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Breaking Bad, dude. What's up, Gomi? I, I, you know, my favorite, dude. I freaking love you, man. <laughs> Honestly, you guys watch Breaking Bad? Is that show fantastic or what? <laughs> man. Season four. Even though, even though I've never been on it, it's still good. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's, it's possible. It's, it's, it's around the corner, man. It's around the corner <laughs> we'll see, for you. We'll We're starting up here in January. I know. But uh, I heard it, it, me and you have a lot of concerns about what's going on here in New Mexico, right? You know, I mean, it's, it all happened at the same time, right? The whole economy, the whole, you know, the writer's strike happened around the same time. So, you know, you said it earlier. What'd you call it? You said, you said Homeywood, but yeah. for a while, this was, this was Tamalywood, man. I mean, they built, they built studios. They built, you know, we had up, upwards of 50 productions 
in a span of three years, mm -hmm. you know, including Wildfire, which I did for four seasons. I mean, um, yeah. which is what brought me here, you know? Yeah. I'm here for five years now yeah. because of that show. And it was the number one show on that network. On the network, because there were only two shows. Oh, well. Yeah, well, that's good. That's, no, that's, how, that's, that's good. how AMC is, too. That's, pretty good. that's how AMC that's is. <laughs> hey, I want to talk about this a little bit more, all right? Yeah. Okay, hey, we'll be Absolutely. right back. That's sexy! Sexiness. An inside look into the New Mexico film industry. The new Hollywood. Nuevo Wood. Racks Building Supply, serving New Mexico since 1986. Locations in Los Lunas, Socorro, and Albuquerque. <laughs> Keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season and the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. Woo! So no, really, man, let's talk about what our concerns are, what's happening in the state uh, of you know, with what, what do we got to do, man? No, what I mean, you know, happen? I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be, it's, it's everywhere. Look, that's the, that's the issue. Everyone knows what's going on with the economy and, and, and the world at, 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 as a whole, you know? So, I mean, it's going to take a little bit of time to heal, but basically it's going to take, um, you know, the continued efforts of the government with the incentive programs, getting, you know, producers here, giving them their money back, which is what brought all these awesome productions here. I mean, I did Terminator. I worked on 12 weeks on Terminator. I mean, just amazing things like that, that probably people in, this, in the audience and all over the state work on, yeah. you know, lots of mouths get fed. So how much did you work company, so. in L.A. compared to New Mexico? Dude, I was in L.A. for 10 years. I did the whole Thelma, Mel, Thelma and Louise, drove across the country from, from New York, did 10 years in L.A., and I've worked more in five years in New Mexico than 10 years in L.A. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, we, yeah. you know, we can, we can realize our dreams here, man. we got to fight for it, So, right? I mean, yeah, it's going to take effort, again, mostly from the government just to continue the incentive program, continue offering, you know, what other states are offering. We're only an hour and a half from L.A., man. That was the biggest drive in force and to begin with. Now everyone's going to, you know, Louisiana and Texas. Detroit and Texas. And, you know, so, so keep it here. I mean, how many Oscar-winning films? I mean, no country. Um, What's the one that just came out? Uh, you know, just constant, constant flow of, of just amazing films that are made here. So and television series. And television series. Duh. Yeah. Eddie winning Breaking Bad. I mean, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, season. Cool, so, yeah. You know? Yeah. I agree with you, man. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate you. No, time, no, man. no. I know you're What's Thank next you. for you? What's next for you? Um, you know, just exactly what the same thing you're doing, man. Rocking and rolling and auditioning and and writing and, and looking for new projects and, uh, and just keep So what do you mean you're going to so do a movie together? Let's make one right now. You want to make one right now? Let's make one right now, man. Nah, nah, nah I don't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Hey, man, thanks Thank for coming so out, man. It, hey, man, love you, brother. Thank you. Hey, we'll be right back here at the After After Party right here on the CW. Thank you. Lessman's Indie Film Rentals. We have what you need to produce your indie film or music video project. Lessman Pro Audio. 5413 Lomas Northeast. Two blocks east of San Mateo. YDI's digital outreach programs offer students a safe place to learn skills using today's industry standard tools. 
Through a series of lectures and hand-on trainings, these programs give kids a head start for a career in the filmmaking industry. You have a program that really does set you up for the real world. This has given them a place where they feel like they belong. To find out more about these and other YDI programs, please visit www.ydinm.org. Welcome back to the After After Party right here on The CW, where I have the best guests here in the queue, which I like to call Homiewood. Like I promised you, my next guest, the fabulous Poema. It was a quarter to eight Secretly glad you were late I hope you didn't see me peeking through the window I didn't want to seem too eager I opened the door ready to leave And then my dad walked us to the car that was embarrassing back after this commercial announcement. Yeah. Do you want to keep yourself and your family healthy this holiday season? And the rest of the year. Watch our web-based series, Cooking from the Heart with Love. And a future episode with Stephen Michael Quesada, Cooking is Killer Beans. Beans? Beans. Yeah, welcome back to the After After Party. Uh, I'm here with Poema. <laughs> yeah. um, what's happening? What are you guys doing? Well, um, we're just 
touring a little bit and promoting a little bit. Actually, we just came out with a Christmas EP um, on November 16th, and so we're going to be promoting that this, this winter. And, you know, just regular band stuff, <laughs> playing shows. What's the tour you guys just did? We just did a tour called Warp Tour. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a big one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how was that? Was that fun? It was an adventure yeah. for sure. It was just, yeah. It was very well, good. long. That's the journey, right? The adventure. Oh, yeah. oh totally. Yeah. It's more than music, huh? Definitely. It becomes business. Yeah. yeah. You guys tired? You ready for a rest? Or are you ready to keep going? <laughs> keep We're going. ready to keep going, you know? Yeah, that's what I want. for the long haul. <laughs> so, uh, so this is your uh, CD. Where can they pick this up? It's Poema, Sing It Now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's our EP. Um, you can pick it up in Hastings, and it's on iTunes and Amazon, and uh, on the online stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming out to the after after party, and you can come back and visit me, right? As long as I keep uh, alive here. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. All right. All We'd right. like to thank you again for you know hanging out with us here at the after after party. <laughs> Uh, this episode was sponsored by Nuevo Wood. You can check it out every 9 a.m. on Saturday morning on My 50, okay? Um, please tune in next week, all right, where I have some great, great guests. I got the funny Nathaniel Augustin. I have... Thank you. He's very funny. You're going to love him. I have Erica Viking from 102.5. And my musical guest is Money B. We'll see you next week. We're out of here. Peace. I haven't heard your voice in a while. I miss the sound. I want to see your face, but you're in another place. Oh, another town. Why did you have to leave on a trip that would take you away from me? thousand miles away but I know you hear this melody I'll play the sweet sound of